My name is David Plummer. I'm a husband, a new father, and a professional swimmer. Well, I had two older brothers who swam, so that's kind of how I got into the sport. Um, and I swam from age five to 18 and was recruited out of high school to swim for the University of Minnesota, where I swam for four years. trying to make his second Olympic team. David Plummer, many feel that he can win this final at the age of 26, get on his first Olympic team. I had a really great race in the summer of 2009 that ranked me back in the top 15 in the world, and, and I felt like after that it was, it was time to get going again and, and see what I could really do. I talked to Coach Ben Bartel, who, uh, who's the head coach here, and he he said that Minnetonka would be a great place to train if, if I was willing to move back to Minnesota. So, so that was the choice I made. You got Thoman in lane three, Reavers in lane four, and the aforementioned Plummer, who many feel can win this in lane five. Well, he's certainly one of the favorites. I think it comes to those three or four big guys in the middle. And the thing is, Dan, this is their big moment. They're all 26, 27 years old. It's either now or perhaps never. For those four in the middle, Hessen, Six, Plummer, Reavers, and Thoman. All of them surrounding. Well, the, the biggest goal was to make the 2012 Olympic team. Once you're at Olympic trials, you have to get top two in any given event to make the Olympic team. All of them surrounding a silver medalist. In Reavers, two lengths of the pool to determine the top two that head to London. Well, the good news for all. So at, at the 2012 trials, um, I came in very confident um, in my ability to make the team. Uh, went through prelims, felt, felt good, went through semifinals, and was qualified second through semifinals. And has the lead, looks like he's on his way to his second straight Olympics. Who's going to join him? Below him is Plummer in lane five. Above him in lane three is Thoman. It's going to be Thoman. Oh, my gosh. Uh, are you looking at the clock? I, uh, I finished just outside the top two. I got third by a little over a tenth of a second and, and just missed making the Olympic team. Just out touching, almost getting Plummer at the end. And Plummer 52 9, Dan, that's like the fourth or fifth fastest time in the world. Ah, oh, gotta be tough. I think it was it was pretty surreal at first. I think it didn't didn't quite set in that you know a, that I that I had just missed out and that it was that it was so close. Um, Very impressive time by Grievers and Thoman and Plummer, but Plummer is on the outside looking in. It sucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was I was I was very unhappy. I was. I was unhappy with, with the way it went. Um, even though I did, I did go a lifetime best time, and, and it's, it's nice to be at your best and feel like, feel like you made everybody else very much work for their, for their spots on the Olympic team. It was still tough, tough to get through. This year, I, uh, at nationals, I, I won the 100 and the 50 backstroke. Um, which were my second and third national titles, and I was really, really excited with, with, my, with my place in that meet. David Plummer, 24.52, unofficially a new U.S. Open record. Creamers, Plummer, fighting for the win. It goes to David Plummer. He qualified for the 2013 World Championships. Just three one-hundreds behind Stradius. Plummer's got a lot of room to make up. He's right on the other side of Grievers. Grievers looking pretty good right now. He's right there in the middle of the pool. Grievers Plummer has established on. himself as the leader with 15 meters left. Matt Grievers, the Olympic gold medalist last summer, trying to hang on the last Plummer. five meters. And Plummer below him trying to make his way in there. But it is Grievers and Plummer one two, I won my first in individual States international again. medal, and I got silver in the 100 backstroke. I think the biggest thing that's changed is I'm really trying to enjoy the ride more. Um, not to put so much focus on the end of the season and the outcome and, and really enjoy you know, the process of, of training and the process of racing at those meets. It's, it's a lot of fun and I really enjoy it.
I've been working with a sports psychologist in the in the past few months and working into the to the 2013 nationals and uh, it's gone really well it's it's helped me keep my mindset where it needs to be helped me keep my focus where it needs to be and has really helped me enjoy the sport more as I've gone through I've been doing some work with a massage therapist who was really done great work. Um, makes me feel like I'm able to recover more in between my practices and, and really get the most out of my training while I'm in the water. I started work with a physical therapist to, to ensure that any type of small injury that I get is, is never blown out of proportion, that I'm always able to to recover as well as possible and, and make sure that as I get older and further on in my career, I'm taking care of myself as best as I possibly can. Well, in the, in the next few years, I'd, I'd kind of like to mirror my results from 2010 and um, go after a couple more national titles and international berths. And, and from there, hopefully have a shot at the 2016 Olympic team.